everyone and welcome to Goodwill Hunting. I'm Vic Frost. I'll be having a great day. Uh, today we're watching Goodwill Hunting. Um, it's the first time I've heard of this movie. Um, it has been voted on by the people of Patreon, so thank you so much for recommending this to me. Uh, if you're here from the um, Die Hard playthrough, I'm still going to do them. It's just I'm going to do them at my own time uh, because, well, it wasn't voted for the people of Patreon. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't know anything about this movie. I only know Robin Williams is in it and Matt Damon is in it. I know Robin Williams, of course, Matt Damon. I know him from, uh, Ocean's Eleven. Um, uh, probably other stuff as well, but I can't remember it at the top of my head right now. Um, I don't know what it's about. Is it an action movie? Is it like a, sh I don't know. I'm, I think, I don't think it is because just from the description. Like, a, that gives it, that it gives on Netflix. So, yeah. I don't know anything. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I hope you have a great time. This is my movie of the month. My movie of February. Uh, which does, isn't a theme of love. There's no really theme for myself. Except, like, Die Hard was kind of a Christmas movie. But I, it got uploaded on YouTube only in January. So it doesn't really count. Um, so, yeah. I hope you have a great time, and uh, without further ado, let's watch this movie that I know literally nothing about, but Robin Williams is in it, so I feel like it's gonna be good. So let's go. FBI, open up! <laughs> That's not Matt Damon. That is Matt Damon. And even a high? That's kind of rude. Oh, it was written by Matt Damon. Huh. I think I've said his name in the past five minutes more than ever in my life. <laughs> oh, you're a janitor. I thought you were a student. I ever did read that in the thing. That he's like a math genius but working as a janitor or something. Is it gonna be a thing where he solves it and no one knows who solved it? Oh, yes. I will. Tristan, how you doing? You can bang your friend's future wife. <laughs> wow. Where are you going? I'm gonna take off. You just got here. <laughs> he was just with like, hi, bye. <laughs> Can someone in the comments tell me if the math in this movie is actual math? I assume so, because it's like a- I had heard of the name of the movie, you know? Um... But, you never know. Is it actual math or is it just a bunch of letters and numbers? I'd hold you forever here. Oh boy. That is the most okay, cliche I could get. I'm in your applied series. He 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 he. I know what you wanted. I was there. So give me my fucking sandwich. Give me your sandwich. I bought it. Logan, how much money you got on you? It's me, Will. Remember, we went to kindergarten together. <laughs> we <did. laughs> that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Are these kids so intense? What the fuck? They're so clearly they're not even in slow motion. They're just <laughs> Rogue and receive thy prize. There's nobody cuz it's he's in prison at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, he was solving it, my dude. <laughs> that looks like a bunch of pinwheels, honestly, like... The evolution of the market economy in the southern colonies. My contention is that uh, prior to the Revolutionary War, the economic modalities especially 
in the southern He's colonies bullshitting. could most aptly be characterized. Gonna be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. That's gonna last until next year. You're gonna be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood. Nice, go, dude. Revolutionary. I really like. I don't even know his name. Forming effects of military mobilization. Gonna come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. One, don't do that. <laughs> two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have threw on our way to a skiing trip. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, but at least I won't be unoriginal. Nice, he just but took it. If you have a problem like that, I mean, we could just step outside, we could figure it out. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. But I'm tired now and I have to go home. And I couldn't sit there anymore waiting for you. Well, I'm well. Get up early and waste some more money on my overpriced education. No, I didn't mean you. I... Ah, that's all right. There's my number. Oh. We can go out for coffee sometime. All right, yeah. I mean, maybe we could just get together and eat a bunch of... Do you like apples? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> that was nice. I was prepared for secondhand embarrassment. I'm very bad at that. But... Let's go. That was so nice. Have a seat. Thank you. Nice talking to you. He must be... He must be one of those annoying glass guys in class who know everything and they're just like... showing off to the teacher and stuff. He cons me at this kind of guy. Fuck. That look like a parent thing. <laughs> How long have you been with him? <laughs> Destroying your potential. There are no more shenanigans, no more tomfoolery, no more ballyhoo. Ballyhoo. You're right. He's so... <laughs> He's so bullshitting this... Oh my god. You're not gonna get off that easily. Come on, Will. So... What do you see? Oh my god. <laughs> So funny. Okay. Something's in my room. Trust. Very important. I forgot Robin Williams was in this. It's very important in a clinical situation. Why is it? How long has it been since we've seen each other? Before Nancy died. Oof. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not sure. I was in Paris. It was that damn. Ever heard of Romana John? Yeah. No. <laughs> Lived over him. Dots, not feathers, feathers yeah. <laughs> and he lived in this tiny hut somewhere. Okay, that was kind of racist. Better than Chomsky's Manufacturing Consent? You think that's a good book? Fucking people baffle me. Spend all your money on these fucking fancy books, you surround yourselves with them at the wrong bench. You paint that? Yeah. You paint? Uh -huh. He's trying to, he's nope. diverting the subject so he doesn't have to say any personal information. No. Well, yeah, maybe that means you. In what way? Well, maybe you're in the middle of a storm, a big fucking storm. Yeah. The maybe. sky's falling on your head, the waves are crashing over your little boat. The oars are about to snap. Let me do my job. No, you start with me. Come on. Maybe you married the wrong woman. Maybe Ooh. you should watch your mouth. Yeah. It's already been an hour? Thursday, four o'clock. Make sure the kid's here. Mmm, nice. But to convince him. Thanks. Because that pissed him off. Like, he cho choked him or something. Does he see himself in Will? My brain's gonna be worth $250,000. That's too much. That sounded horrible, didn't it? All right, so you just wanted to, to use this sailor and then uh, run away, huh? Well, I'm gonna, you know, experiment on you for two, three. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we should just get out of the way now. While you're bun both eating switch food? No. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> but they can't do much else because they're eating. <laughs> I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. Mm hmm. You've never actually stood there and looked at a woman and feel truly happy. That's so sad. You're a tough kid. 
It's funny because the entire time the conversation, the, the camera is on him, so it's kind of like he could have been having this conversation by himself, for all we know. Watch him gasp his last breath, looking to you for help. That's fucking rude. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. Oh. Who could rescue you from the depths of hell? I doubt you've ever dared to love anybody that much. That one I think is untrue, but the rest. I look at you about me because you saw a painting of mine. You ripped my fucking life apart. That's a way of teaching a lesson. You're an orphan, right? You move, chief. That was wrecking. Let's go. Times words are more effective than can be more frightening than violence. Is what I meant to say. Kevin, you've been scarier. What's scaring him is probably this guy. The fact that he likes him, and he's his friend and stuff. And he doesn't want to give that away. I could be completely wrong, though. I mean, oh, he's just waiting for the hour to end, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Sometimes people get lucky. You're a brilliant man. <laughs> His pride got insulted. Fuck you! We've met for five seconds, but I, I'm glad for that. I would start by being a book at this point. I'm like, okay. I have been late, you know. <laughs> Good. This girl's like fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Ah. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. There you go. Your like entire life without ever having to really know anybody. You just, just not get hurt. My wife used to fuck. You're not perfect, sport. And let me save you the suspense. She's not. This girl you met. Perfect. In the way that, I mean, we don't, I don't know if it's true, but Will probably hasn't had a serious relationship before and hasn't s lost someone to a serious relationship, so a bit different than someone, like, dying than being afraid of commitment. <laughs> um, yeah, alright. Okay. Okay. Let's go! I have 12 big brothers. You do not. Is he actually? Oh God, I swear to God. Is he actually? 13, right here. Do you know all their names? Regret. Me and your wife. Why? Because the pain I feel now? Oh, I got regrets, Will, but... The same one of them. I don't regret a single day I spent with her. That's so sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> so when did you know, like, that she was the one for you? October 21st. Oh, wow, you just knew. Jesus Christ, you know the fucking day? Well, I just slid my ticket across the table and I said, Sorry guys, I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> I gotta go see about a girl? Yeah, that's what you said? I had I'd say it's like 4.30 in the morning, they're probably up. Oh my god. Men are shameless. <laughs> if you're not thinking with your wiener, then you're acting... I told you you was gonna play in the NBA. Well, exactly, so look out, you better start buying confused. <laughs> uh, she looks so nice. She looks so fun. I hope they stay together. This is so sweet. But it's like half of the movie, so something's gonna go down. And boom, right? So Stady gets real spooked and he turns around. You got shot? No, some. No. some <laughs> I heard this story <laughs> Yeah, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan. Guy's car and hit a tree. Okay, it was an accident. <laughs> there was. <laughs> This is Stady's police cruiser. It's in my uncle's garage. <laughs> oh, he stole the car? Oh my god. Damn <laughs> it, drove the wrong car home. The best question. Are you, Come on, are you stop. Fucking, I'm, you I'm know, trying to clarify something, probably. You're, you're embarrassing. Too embarrassed no. to ask that you don't, it doesn't make any sense. Morgan is always sense. so intense. He's like, he's always getting to, like, do fights. He's so intense. If you listen to me, you're going to get off of me. At least it looks like she was having uh, fun. You guys run this. All right, take it easy. It's great that they're office, but I, I don't really think he's ready for that. 
Don't be a bitch about it. I'm not sure you understand, Sean. Over here in Gerald <laughs> Five, there were hundreds of professors renowned for their study of this and Sean. This boy has that gift. Yeah. He just hasn't got the direction, but we can give that to him. Hey, Jerry. In the 1960s, there was. But. I get that he wants him to be successful and do stuff, and I'm like, yes, of course, when I have the future, sure, but. Don't forget that he's a person. Right? He's not just a math tool for you to use to get better math insight. Right. As a young man graduated from the University of Michigan, did some brilliant work in mathematics, specifically bounded harmonic functions. Then he went on to Berkeley, was assistant professor, showed amazing to the world, and, and we can help him do that. Direction's one thing, manipulation's another. Well, right. Sean, have to let him find Sean. his position. Nobody in this town works without a retainer, guys. You think you can find somebody who Well, yeah, you can because I think Sean wants Sean is the math dude, right? Anyways, I think so. He wants Will to have the future that he wanted to have, but he doesn't really want that, you know. Or if he does, we haven't seen it. Allegedly, your situation. I feel like there's gonna be consequences to that, though. You would be KO. You. I don't know what your reputation is in this town. <sighs> I have very, very bad secondhand embarrassment. Like, it's bad. I mean, it's not probably not the worst ever, but it's... <sighs> okay, come on, you can do this. You tried to pull the gentleman. And until that day comes, keep your head to the grindstone. They're so confused. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have a photographic memory? I don't know. I just kind of remember, you know. I mean, how do you remember? He does. Your phone? You know, you just do. <laughs> I have to tell you something. Huh? I have to tell you something. Oh. Well. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. I really hope they stay together for the movie, but I don't know. This is too sweet for the middle of the movie. I'm scared. Scared feelings not right now. Fair. What's not fair? What? I've been here for four years, and I've only just found you. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> if they break up, I swear to God, I will be so sad. What? What? I just know. Yeah, but how, how do you know? <laughs> I know because I just want you to come to California with me. I can't go to California. He's scared. Look, um, if you don't love me, you should just tell me I'm because it's such a. What if I said to you thing? <laughs> In the safe little world where no one challenges you and you're scared shitless oh, no. to do don't, anything don't, else because don't that tell me about my world. Don't first tell me fight about my world. first fight I mean, you just want to have your little fling with like the guy from that i would give it back in a second if it meant i could have one more day with him but i can't then that's my life am i afraid you're afraid of? of me you're afraid that i won't love you back you know what i'm afraid too fuck it i want to give it a shot and at least i'm honest with you i'm not honest with you no what about your 12 brothers I want to hear that shit, Skylar. I don't do don't, don't tell me you want to hear that. I, I want to hear because I want to help you because I want to be. Shit me! Don't you fucking bullshit me! I love you. Fucking you. Fucking me. I love you. <laughs> I don't love you. Ah, uh, bitch! Ah! <sighs> you scared? Ah! Uh. <laughs> I know you're scared, but running away isn't gonna solve your problem, mate. Because he's so scared of losing everything he has that he just feels like 
throwing it away first is gonna be better. It's such a it's a cla it's a classic. It's a classic. It's a it's a classic way for the brain to protect itself from hurt. <sighs> and I'm not like it's just sad. It's so sad because you only have one life. <laughs> you only have one life to do whatever the fuck you want because even if you believe in the afterlife or reincarnation, you can't ever know for sure. You know? Like, this is the one thing you can be certain of that you can make whatever you want. And I'm a victim of that too, not to the extent of him. But, you know, it's so... It's just so sad. The ring and all that. Because of fear. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> I want to cry with her. The possibility... That's right. Let's right. take it home with you. See what was out there. Look, maybe I don't want to spend the rest of my fucking life sitting around explaining shit to people. Oh, damn. Time to sit around and get drunk instead, wouldn't you? <sighs> Sean frustrates me because he's going at him because, you know, Will is all he wanted to be and is not. You're right. Total waste of my time. Why is he trying to save it so hard? I guess because it's. I don't know. Most days I wish I never met you. Fucking bitch! I would have knowledge that there was someone like you out there. That's not my fucking problem that you got in fear, fairyotti, in, in fairyotti issues. I, I didn't have to watch you throw it all away. I mean, there's a difference between throwing, throwing away what you want him to be and living his life. Oh come on! I mean, that is what you do. You guys handle eighty percent of the intelligence workload. You're seven times the size of the CIA. We don't like to brag about that, Will. NSA? I don't know what line. that is. I don't know what the American government... The way I see it, the question isn't, why should you work for the NSA? Now the politicians are saying, oh, send in the Marines to secure the area, because they don't give a shit. It won't be their kid over there getting shot, just like it wasn't them when their number got called, because they were all pulling a tour in the National Guard. Be some kid from Southie over there taking shots. Damn, I didn't expect that. Back to find that the plan he used to work at got exposed. So NSA is military. And the guy who put the shrimp North Atlantic. So now my buddy's out of work. He can't afford to drive, so he's walking to the fucking job interviews. With he got this whole man's imaginary man life planned out. Tries to get a bite to eat. The only blue plate specialist. I got plenty. Well, name him. He doesn't. Shakespeare, Nietzsche, Frost, O'Connor, Kant. Darling, they're all dead. That's great. They're all dead. Not to me, I know. There's there honor is. in that. Yeah, there is. Well, there is honor in that. And there's honor in, you know, taking that 40-minute train ride so those college kids can come in in the morning and the floors are clean and the way... Yeah. Look at me. What do you want to do? He knows and it kind of scares him, doesn't it? You and your... But this is the right approach with him. I just want. I love. Oh. And the worst is he loves her, or likes her at least. I don't know how much he loves her, but. I kind of wish he had rushed to the airport, but it's not really his thing, is it? I don't know. Maybe it is. What was this? It's like a week ago. Come on, give wisdom, please. There's 25 minutes. I'm, I'm like stressing over the time left and how this is going to end. So, uh, when are you done with those? In 20 years, if you're still living here, 
coming over to my house to watch the Patriots game. You're still working construction. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> That's not a threat. Why? That's a fact. I'll fucking kill you. Let's go. Go <laughs> to me. Because tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'll be 50. And I'll still be doing this shit. That's all right. That's fine. You catch it. And that's bullshit. Yes, sir. Still with any of Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. <laughs> no goodbye, no see you later, no nothing. That's making me teary eyed. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's so sad. We're supposed to love him the oh, most. Oh, come on, don't give me that for you. Oh, crap. no, listen, Jerry, and why does he hang out with those retarded gorillas, as you call them? Because any one of them, if he asked them to, would take a fucking bat to your head, okay? That's called loyalty. Yeah, it's very touching. And who's he hanging He with? can't understand he that. He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. It's a different and That's what he's... at me for being, being successful, for <laughs> being what you could have been, Sean. I'm not angry at you, Jerry. Oh, yes, you're angry at me, Sean. You resent me. That's superiority complex. I said inferiority, but... That superiority complex that he can't shake. But I'm not gonna apologize. And stand that look in your eye. You know, that condescending, embarrassed oh, look. On, sure. You think I'm a failure. I know who I am, and I'm proud of what I do. I am what I am today because I was pushed and because I learned to push He's myself. It's not you, you guessed that! What's up? <laughs> if I can come back. I'll come in. Uh... That's also the thing, like, Everything is about him. Ah! Oh. I was just leaving. You know, at first I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna be there and help him. He's a dick. Fuck that guy. My father was an alcoholic. Mean fucking drunk. He come home hammered, looking to wail on somebody. So oh. I provoke him. So is that his memories? My mother and little brother. Not your fault. Oh. <laughs> he looks away every Not time. Cute. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me. Oh. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me, all right? <laughs> He's li Is he alone? No. <laughs> I don't know. Oof. <sighs> Is he going on a train to go see her? That would be cool. I wasn't sure if he was fake sobbing for a moment. <sighs> but we see it. Where is he? I can't recognize it. Oh, it's like the painting! But there's no storm. It's calm. That's That must have a meaning somehow. I'll be traveling around a bit. It'll be a little hard. But um, I've got an answering machine at the college I'll be checking in with. So. Thank you, Sean. Uh, thank you, Will. It is far like the uh, patient doctor relationship. Nah, only if you grab my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Hey, go get me a beer. I ordered two beers. Hey, asshole. What, bitch? <laughs> Happy birthday. Shall we for God, huh, bitch? Fucking come on. I'm getting out of here. They are nice friends. They allowed to drink, so we figured the best thing for you, kid, was a car. How do you like it? This is like. So cool. It's the ugliest fucking car I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Come on, brother. Lawnmower? What do you got? That's a straight fucking six. Man, sorry. Oh. Are cars supposed to look like that? <laughs> oh. How about a drink right now? Yeah, it's a good idea. That bad, huh? This one's on me. Oh, he's giving him a letter. I 
and he won't be there. Oh. You know, in any other scenario, that would have been sad, but I'm happy he's not there. Oh, so sweet. He didn't even leave a letter or anything. Oh, but that's what he said. Yeah. Such a good friend. <laughs> I feel like crying again. <laughs> if the professor calls about that job, just tell him sorry. Oh. I had to go see about a girl. Well. Bitch. Stole my life. <laughs> that is all that is true. So he did go see her. We won't get to see the reunion. Oh my god. Okay, you can't hear this. That made me cry. This movie was so good. <laughs> I get why people like it so much. Um I thought it was a really great movie. I really like the character development that it had um i thought that was great i thought that was really great um ugh, that made me emotional and i love like how he got his character development you know and that because the premise of this on the netflix thing is that you know a professor finds out that he's a genius in math and so he seeks him out but this movie is so not about his math genius like it's so not about that and i love it a lot i think it's really great um trying to organize my thoughts about it Um, I really, I like how it was so focused on the math at first, right? That it was like, that's how he, everything that happened is because he's so good at math and he's so good at like science and he's so good at that stuff. But then whenever you like, you have... Um, not a guy, but like you. I I also I was trying to say because I saw my roses falling and I'm sad. Uh, my sister bought me roses for Valentine's Day. I'm failing this to fifty. Um, I leave it. It's so soft. Um. Anyways, what was I about to say? And yeah, that's because of the math. But like, apart from the guy trying to get him up with jobs like there's the math isn't even there anymore <laughs> like at all like it's not an important bit the important bit is we get to see how he grows right and i love that it pierced we pierced his shell kind of he was so afraid of rejection that's what he was he was so afraid of being rejected of having something bad happen to him that he just didn't try anymore he just didn't want to try and that's why he ran away from you know being a mathematician and that's why he didn't want a girl and that's why he didn't want the 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 job because it was like a safe place for him like the the job that he had the friends that he had were a safe place that could not hurt him so why would he like leave that you know so i think it's really good 
I think I this was really fun. And I liked how it was the character development was made. It wasn't just like, oh, he doesn't open up and then one day he has a girl and he's like, "Oh my god," you know? Like um and just and also just for the fact that he didn't switch like that. He didn't just become a better person or something. You know? Um, so yeah, I think the movie is done now. Like, it's a... There's not gonna be post credit scenes, but I, I was still curious to see. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun uh, just watching this, really. Uh... And they, Robin, the the guy, I think it's Greg, his name, the guy who was Robin Williams, who Robin Williams played, so good, because he just needed that person in his life to take him seriously enough to get, like, to get him to open up and to do stuff about it, and to not give up on him, and to just continuously do it, you know? Um. And I thought that was wonderful. <laughs> I thought that was so good. Um, he just, he knew just how to make him open up and stuff. And I like that it's his best friend. That, and it's so funny because at first I didn't like him. I, I, I didn't dislike him, but I thought it was gonna, I thought he was gonna be one of the like, oh, you're gonna leave us for the smarty, oh, no, 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 you know, that kind of classic thing. and. When he said, like, the happiest day of my, the happiest time of my day is the 10 seconds when I hope you're not there. Oh my god, and then the way he wasn't there at the end, and he didn't even give, I'm, I'm tearing up, I'm just thinking about it. Just a little lights in my face. Um, he, he, he just wasn't there anymore. Like, he, he just wasn't there anymore, and he didn't say goodbye, because, like, that's what he said, he's like, I had, and without a goodbye, without a hug, he just left, and I think that's so cool. Um, and I was so convinced he was gonna get the job, and I'm so glad he went for Skyler. I really, really wish we got to see how that happened because Skyler could be like, "Oh, fuck you, dude." <laughs> she really, but well, because I mean, it do, it depends how long it is, but she could have fallen out of love or just didn't want to spend more time on him. Um, ow, what is it? Um. So, yeah, but we we won't get to see that, and I'm kind of sad. But it was a very good, I wouldn't say coming of age, because it, I don't feel like it has the same vibe as coming of age movies, but you get what I mean? He just kind of growed into himself. I was about to use another word, and I was like, mm, I can say that. <laughs> um, he just grown into himself, and he just... And I like how Frank, as a character, he was. Like, he didn't hesitate to throw hands on anybody that he didn't like. And sure, that was kind of the bad thing about his situations that he didn't want to open up to anyone, basically. But it was good. Like, it was... um He did it. The character, the character is well written. Then the way that he's also consistent, even after he was like you know he realized that he should not spend his life doing what he has been doing, he was still like consistent in who he is. He just and I I believe that he didn't really get that fear off of him. I think he just got the courage to try and do it, and we won't ever know what happened and like what he wanted to do with that basically like oh I forgot so oh no I got distracted again fuck <laughs> uh and I really even if the Sean guy was kind of he I feel like he was really projecting his issues like like he 
like like uh Gary? I'm gonna have to Google his name because what the f Um Goodwill Hunt. Also, I didn't realize that his name was just Will Hunting. Well, I got the hint when his name was Will. I was like, oh, maybe it's his last name is Hunting. Oh no, Sean is Robin Williams. My bad. I didn't say anything. And what's the other guy? Okay, Greg. Gerald, Gerald. Ah, I mixed them up. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so. Sean, no, no, Greg, <laughs> Greg was necessary enough to push him in the way and like, but he, he was so projecting his issues and his like, like, um, Sean said, I just got it. Sean is a psychologist and Greg is the evil, evil, but he's not really evil. He's just annoying. Um, like. Like Sean said, that he had like a fear of failure. Like, yeah, he, you know, the entire time he was like, oh, you're so jealous of me. You're jealous of my male. He had like a security complex. And when, you know, um, Will was like, this is so easy for me. I could do this in my sleep. I don't, I don't want to spend my time explaining this to you. And when he rushed for the papers, you know, so crazy. And I'm, I would like to believe that, because he could, from it sounds like, revolution, revolutionize the world of math, you know? It would be, like, so good if he did that. But, um, I don't know if he did. I hope Skylar managed to convince him to do it. In, because the thing with Sean, yes. Was that he won? Because he saw Will in him. He saw himself in Will, and he saw who he wanted to be. So he was like, "If like this kid must want to be like revolutionize the world, you know, like me and stuff." But he doesn't, and so we you have to consider that at the same time, right? You have to consider the fact that, and it's it's a it's a balance in the way of like, oh my god, he has so much talent, he could do so much. And, like, but he doesn't want to, or, he's really, I think he's supposed to say that he doesn't really care, honestly, but, anyways, he's not gonna do it, and he doesn't want to, and you can't force him to do it, because then that's just sad. It's like, I read a, a fanfic once, and I'm not gonna, one of the characters, basically, the, the main character's grandma died, and, and. They were talking to someone that knew them, and they were like, she could have been a, like, so, she could have revolutionized the world of music, because she was such a good pianist. Is that how you say English? Um, she was so good, but she died, right? She died in a plane crash, I think, was the thing. And it was, and he was like, it's so sad that she had so much talent, and the world doesn't even know she existed. And I, I was like, oh my god, that's so sad. And in this case, like, the entire world doesn't know how good this guy is. He could be the next Albert Einstein, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> um, but he could be so good, and that's sad. And that's like, man, he could, really, he could do so much. He could do so good. But at the sake of him and who he is, it's a balance of, like, wanting them to have that potential and wanting him to have that greatness while at the same time just not treating them as soldiers you know what i mean like not treating them as if they're just there's some tools some math tool you can use so and he kind of pushed that line a little bit not like he he wanted the best for him and the world i guess but you know uh, Sean put him in this place. So, that's good. And I liked his character. And he... He was mostly annoying. He was not like... There was no villains in this story. There were just people. They were just people. You know? Um, and, yeah. That's the 
the the thing. That's they were just people, and I think that's the brilliance of this movie. I uh, brilliance. I don't know, but I'm not a cinematic person. But that every character is so fleshed out. Like Skylar is so fleshed out. Like even though the the members of the gang, they're so fleshed out, and stuff. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So, yeah, but I like his character development. I like where it it went. It it had a beautiful pacing as well. That it's I mainly don't enjoy movies most of the time because, like the thirty minute mark towards the end, forty five minutes mark, if it's really boring, I get bored. I'm like, oh my, this is too long. But here I wanted to because. It, it managed to pace itself very well that I, I was like, oh, I want to know what happens to him. I want to know what he decides to do and stuff. And I think that's really well done. And I like the relationship between uh, Sean and Will. It was so sweet. And the way that they both helped each other out, like, they both made each other realize that they had, like, a life and they could, I mean, Sean already knew that, but, you know, he went, like, human traveling and stuff and i think that's so cool um i just think it's amazing and yeah <laughs> i think it's really cool it has such a beautiful relationship in that moment when he just sobbed and it was so out of nowhere because he we hadn't seen him cry we hadn't really seen him get emotional apart from apart from like anger Ugh, my hands are, uh, from before in the movie and then he just sobs his heart out that I was I was there like wait is he just gonna cop out and just like he was pretending to sob and now he just laughs but no it was so sweet and I think my favorite moment of the entire movie is that conversation he has with his best friend it's like if you don't move out of here I'll fucking kill you and I think that's the best motivation like you have something that everybody here wishes we had and you're wasting it being here don't you fucking dare do that and i think that was the best approach because saying how you owe it to yourself was like not as motivating as that as being like man we we could we would have taken this chance any time we got but you're too scared to do it like fuck you you know so anyway i thought it was so sweet I thought it was so good. Ugh. I think it's such a good character development so story and just just and it's not a movie about showing like how good he is at math and how good he how superior he is. He's just like showing how to live. Right? It's just how do you live in the lesson of like you have one life and you can't you only have one life and you can't throw it all away out of fear you know so do what you want to do and take the chances you get and it's a thing and i say that like it's so easy and it's not and i know that and i suffer from that a bit and it infuriates my mom a bit. She says that to me sometimes. Like, um, oh no, I forgot about it. Um, but I remember something. But there was what was we were talking about. Oh yeah. I think. Oh yeah, it's because um I'm in a I'm in a teaching program. I'm in a program of teaching English as a second language. And when you graduate in my school, you can have the opportunity with the government of Japan to go work there for like a minimum of like one to five years. And I'm like, oh, that looks interesting, but I don't know. Like I will be leaving the whole country and stuff. And like, and of course we, I have like three years and a half to decide still but she was like and i was like i'm 
like I was like, but I have like a life here and I have at and she wasn't mad at me, but she was like, you know, you should take your life and like this is a one time experience that you're probably never gonna get. So and one other time she was mad at me, but my mom has this thing. <laughs> and I think it's such a great things like you only have one life and you can't experience the most you can get and take it <laughs> have risk it basically basically i'm bad with decisions in life usually and so it's like take the chance you know so i think this movie appealed to me as well in that sense in a more personal sense uh but yeah, i like it was so i like skylar and Will's relation, I, she was so funny and she was so sweet. And at first, I was kind of like, "Oh, maybe she's gonna be one of those rich girls that are just like, you know, once they see who he is, he's they're just gonna run." But I, that was the whole point. That was the whole fear of it, you know. And she didn't. She was just like at the time at the the show when they were talking with their friends. She was just like, she was just laughing, and she wasn't even embarrassing, embarrassed as she was. A, uh, I mean, and she wasn't like awkward. She was just striding along, and I think that's so sweet. And she wanted to take, like she said, like she, like I don't know if you love me, but I want to take the shot. And he didn't, and he's learning that lesson now. And of course, he's he went to go to her, and I hope it worked out. I don't know. We'll never know, but i hope it worked out and she took the chance and he was just wasn't ready but she she just she, she was ready and i think that's so so cool it's so cool and yeah no really i really like this movie i thought it was really great um i had tons of fun with it like tons um it was funny and it was just really it's a good movie it's a really good movie. i didn't know what to expect in this Honestly, I was like, ah, oh, maybe it's gonna be boring because it's gonna be just them talking and stuff, you know. And just him being superior at math. But it wasn't. It was not boring at all. It was it was a lot of fun. And I really liked it. I cried. <laughs> I even cried. The, sh the, the, the script? Yeah, it's the scenario. The script was very well done. I think it, it was... Uh, my um, very well written, and I really liked it. Um, yeah, all the symbolisms as well about like Sean's wife with the boat, and the boat being so. I like that. I don't know if it's a coincidence. Probably not, but it could be. Not like the boat in the painting that he did is like so rocky, and you and and what Will said like you're lost and you don't know what to do. And then when you at the end you see just a guy on a boat and just the water is so calm. And I think that's really sweet, and it's really great symbolism. Um, it's probably more that I don't know. You guys will enlighten me with, but I thought it was a really great movie, and I really liked it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment, or follow, subscribe to see more. You can check out my Patreon if you want the full and uncut reaction. And I do basically a movie once a month. Uh, so if you have any recs, don't be afraid to leave them below. And I'll see you guys later.